now that the base, those are the basics, this is phase one. We're on phase one right now, what I call phase one. So phase one is basically quarantine period, definitely short term. I'm very hoping that is short term. And number two is the time when we still don't have a vaccine, a legitimate vaccine. So that's phase one. Um, when phase one is happening, sectors such as tech, some tech, uh, sectors such as gold, sectors such as pharmaceutical, sectors such as, I think also some consumer staples, those are up and those are thriving. It's helping them. the economy, it's helping the market. And that's phase one. The end of phase one slash start of phase two is a little bit before where we we really don't know when but before the vaccine or at the time the vaccine hits vaccine hits the gold the gold the tech the pharmaceuticals they're gonna definitely have a ridiculous boost up when that time hits that's probably the time to sell I'm not gonna lie there's gonna be some selling going on in my portfolio because when the vaccines hit, they, they do their, their selling and then everything's so far so good, eventually it's gonna go down. So gold, gold maybe will will still be a stable one because the dollar has, has yet to keep its value or get its value back up again from before. So that's something to consider. So that's end of phase one and start of phase two. So during phase two, when the aftermath of the vaccine comes in, an option would also be to sell the gains from, definitely sell the gains from the 20% that are positive, And then I could double down on what now is the negatives on phase one negatives I can double down on those for example the airline industry the travel industry the hotels the banks the banks um, and double down on those mind you double down is if, if, if not just double but probably triple the risk because we, we really don't know what's going to happen because all the gains that you got from phase one, you're going to dump it all on, onto really risky ones on phase two. I don't know if it's a good bet, but that's going to be up to you guys. So that's, that's the kind of things that's scrambling in my mind, and I hope that enlightens you guys on what to do, maybe what to get, what to sell, what to buy. Um, so as promised, I got something for you guys that could possibly be research uh, strategy for you guys. So, so I work with this Merrill Lynch research website where I do some of my research. Adapts absolutely, at least start with it and then go on from there. But from my research here, from this website, I got a lead where I go to the research and I go to the stocks and the highlights of it every day are the S&P 500, NASDAQ, and Dow Jones, the big three, of course. Um, so let's just look at the biggest one, Dow Jones. I go to research, excuse me, and I go to components. What I'm looking at here are the holdings of Dow Jones. There's only 30 of them here, but it's good to know which ones are making money, which sectors are which sectors are making money, which companies are making money, and we'll learn from that. So there's 30 of them here in the, the um, Dow Jones Industrial. So if I go to the year-to-date return, this is definitely considering the dip and the the gains that they've had before. And then after Corona, so before and after the pandemic, so 
I'm looking at the 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 loss the losers year to date is number one Boeing, number t number three here is what I have um, Exxon Mobil negative thirty nine and some of these so I got the losers of Dow Jones and that's good to know. When I flip the script, I got some Microsoft here too. It's on another app that I have, but it's not here in Merrill Lynch. I got Microsoft and I don't have Apple so these are bear, the bear winners here we got we got four one two three four five 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 winners so far and then the rest are down so that's Dow Jones looking back we got So this is the S&P 500. S&P 5. I'll, I'll save you guys the best for last. Of course, if you guys want to skip to it, go right ahead. I don't care. So components, S&P 500. Of course, there's five hundred about five five oh five stocks here. So you go to the year to date return. I got Norwegian, which is the biggest loser out of all of them. And Carnival, I got Delta Two and then and Vesco. This is negative sixty two. So again, this is good to know. Year to date. So and then the winners are Netflix. So Netflix, Amazon, those are the ones that I have. Hi more. Sorry. Okay. And then um, Microsoft is here too. So they're the winners and that's good to know. What I'm trying to get at is on the next one which is NASDAQ. And then you can also apply this on the other in this in indexes. So NASDAQ, let's look at NASDAQ research. So since NASDAQ has fairly the most gains Perhaps we're still in phase one, which is zero vaccine as of this time. Perhaps there's still a, a momentum on other sector, sectors that, that we can take advantage of. So NASDAQ, we got 2,700 companies here. And then you go to year to date. We got the biggest losers here. I want to focus on the biggest losers here. Because the biggest loser here, because the biggest losers here are, the biggest losers here are, energy, energy, like a, a string of energy here. Um, who else? Energy, energy, some communication services, one real estate. So huge downs. But the upside is the. The ones that are winning right now, which is crazy, a hundred and a thousand and eight hundred percent up, is this CODX co diagnostics, which is a price at seventeen dollars, an affordable price of seventeen dollars. They're up, and then going trickling down, we got nine hundred percent, twelve dollars. We got Allied Healthcare. We got 915 Genprex, and going down the line, we got my Inovio, which is 300% at $13. I should parlay here, but I'm looking at these other ones gaining momentum at 450% for $1.50. $1 That's uh, consumer discretionary. Um, we got pharmaceutical, healthcare, we got healthcare, we got healthcare, we got health. More, a string of healthcare here that is unbelievably gaining momentum during this phase one that I call it prior vaccine so it's something to think about a, a research uh, strategy that possibly could give you guys leads and hopefully you guys can definitely share this because this video could be essential to you to others and we're all in this boat of beating the market so please share this like and subscribe and that's it for me guys thank you guys for watching and i hope to see you guys on the next i i'm gonna try to pump these uh these stock videos as much as i can but 
lately has just been busy. Uh, I'm going to get a video about that and what I've been doing uh, in between the YouTube videos. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video.